Hello, this is Matt's Amazing Mazes, and I would just like to share with my subscribers and viewers once, just once more again, a uh, Bible discussion, topical talk, a, a Bible topic discussion talk, yeah, <laughs> and the title of this Bible discourse is, um, should we obey God as ruler rather than man? And um, the question is, is um, how long does man have left for him to rule over himself? So um, it's based on Acts chapter 5 verse 29. The scripture which says on the title screen of your computer monitor it says we must obey God as ruler rather than man so let's get into it <laughs> so um, over the f next few weeks elections will be held in various countries around the world people are making important decisions about which leaders they will choose so, um, what does the Bible say about that? It says, human, it pretty much says when we get right down to it, that um, human leaders are limited. The Bible identifies a limitation that all human leaders have. It says in the book of Psalms, chapter 146 verse 3 and verse 4 that do not put your trust in princes nor in a son of man who cannot bring salvation his breath goes out he returns to the ground on that very day his thoughts perish Even the most capable leaders will eventually die. Furthermore, they cannot guarantee that any of their good works will be continued by those who come after them. So let me turn my Bible to Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 18 and verse 19. Um to view that scripture I just quoted. Let's see here. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 18 says, I came to hate all that I had worked so hard for under the sun because I must leave it behind for the man coming after me verse 19 and who knows whether he will be wise or foolish yet he will take control over all the things I spent great effort and wisdom to acquire under the sun this too is futility so um yes when a man get elected and and, and he wins the election and he and, and he's um taking part of that um job yeah who knows what would happen while he passed away or the man that comes after him Things can change. It can go two ways. Things can change for the better or things can change for the worse. The law can change for the worse or the better. Okay. Okay, the fact is the Bible reveals that humans were never meant to govern themselves. In Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 23 it says, it does not belong to man who is walking even to direct his step. 
is there anyone who can provide good leadership today? Yes, is there anyone who can provide good leadership today? A leader that is approved by the only the only true God. The Bible explains that God has appointed a most capable and trustworthy leader, Jesus Christ. Now let me go to Psalms chapter 2 verse 6. Yes, um, Psalms chapter 2 verse 6 says, Saying, I myself have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. So the true God had installed his, his king on Zion, his holy mountain. So, th so that installment is it happening in the? F is it will it happen in the future, or has he already installed his king on his holy mountain? Well, we will find that out, and it would be. A government that will rule from the heavens. And Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. We put pretty much know what that should say. But let's read it anyways. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 10. Let your kingdom come, let your will take place as in heavens, also on earth. So, so God's will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. A government that will rule from the heavens. Okay. So, um, the question is, Will you choose to accept Jesus' leadership? The Bible highlights the significance of that choice. Um, it says in Psalms chapter 2 verse 12, Honor the Son, and we pretty much know that the Son is Jesus Christ, or God will become indignant and you will perish from the way. For his anger flares up quickly. Happy are all those taking refuge in him. So, um, now is the time to make your decision. When all human governments and rulers have failed, will you take up, um, supporting God's kingdom of uh, to rule over the earth will you support that kingdom um, will, will you stay neutral from politics and governments and and, and, and not and not take up vo voting for human flawed r rulership that has no um, purpose or or accomplishments whatsoever well it, it accomplished a few it accomplished some stuff but it doesn't accomplish all the problems of the world got human rulership and governments do not accomplish all things in the world because this we live in an imperfect society with the imperfect rulers and an imperfect system so Bible prophecy reveals that Jesus began ruling in the year 1914 and that soon God's kingdom will replace all human governments. Yes, God's kingdom will replace all human governments. And, and that would be found in Daniel chapter 2 verse 44. Let me turn to Daniel Let me turn to Daniel. Chapter 2, 
chapter 2, verse 44. And it says in Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, In the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, and this kingdom will not be passed on to any other people. It will crush and put an end to all these kingdoms, and it alone will stand forever. Yes, human governments political world rulers will soon be ended by God's kingdom. God's kingdom will end all the um, lack of um, direction that, 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 that people has, that lack of godly direction that people don't want to use to govern themselves the right way according to to God's direction. Um, see, God, however, God govern people, but people has to govern themselves with godly direction, with good orderly direction, G-O-D, or, or it, it will not work. It will not work, I guarantee you. If... If humans do not govern themselves with good orderly direction, G-O-D, God, it will not work. It's been proven from time after time after time after time. So, um, so um, to learn more about how you can support Jesus' leadership, that had been appointed by God, the only true God, read the article, Choose to Support God's Kingdom Now. You can find this at jw.org. jw.org. So this will conclude this Bible discussion topic interview about um we must obey god as ruler rather than men soon enough this is going to be a realization that we must obey god as ruler because men rulership is coming to an end extremely soon and it's going to happen because god does not lie it's impossible for god to lie um, his words come true. In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11, it says that his words does not come back to him, but it accomplished whatever he sent forth. And, and the results will become sure success. So keep that scripture in mind. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. Well, I'm going to let you go now. But but but, but before I go, I'm just going to let you know. And, and, and I say this in all my YouTube videos uh, of um, Bible topic discussions. Don't take my word for it. It says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. Beloved ones, do not believe every inspired statement. Do not believe every inspired inspired spirits or, or, or inspired e expressions. But test the inspired expressions. Test those spirits. S test those inspired statements to see whether they originate with God. For many false prophets have gone forth into the world. So do your own personal research. Pray to the only one true God. Pray to the only one true God and say to him in your prayer, if, if possible, um, please can, let, let me get to know you. I want to know everything about you, your, your true name, your, your true purpose. And, and what do you have in store for humanity? Let me know all these things, you know. 
Um, do your Bible research. Pray for inspiration. Inspiration. Pray for motivation to get you on the right track. So um, I'm going to let you go now. I hope this has been beneficial in, in somewhat of a way for you to, to um, acquire in, in your um, research. So um, that's Amazing Mazes signing off.